Uh, well, I can't believe I'm recording this uh, without the, the I, I haven't been able to record a video because I lost uh, my my thing to to record. But I wanted to mention that I'm um, coming out of the fast. It's already been what two weeks, at least two weeks. Wait, one week, two weeks. This is going to be the third week that I'm about to start, and um, I'm already eating grains because. I appear, I appear to have a very good digestion, um, but it took a long time to be able to to get the whole thing going again. I mean, it just felt awful. Anything I would eat was just very hard to to keep. You know, I mean, it was just really bad. Um, I couldn't eat. I stopped eating for 40 days. You start putting food inside inside of you, you feel awful, absolutely awful. So you can't you can't eat. But, um, of course, a lot of the pistachios have helped a lot. Uh, pecans, like a lot of peanuts, almonds were very, very good. Um, and papaya, fruit juices, but only fruit juices that were citric. Uh, I couldn't eat any any uh, celery or any, um, even, uh, I mean, just, uh, just a couple of days ago, I started drinking... Um, a carrot juice so that that has been really I mean I'm glad that I've been able to do that and and um, and today was the first day I ate chicken but I started eating chicken after I started eating um, uh, sardines it's really weird but the doctor told me you better eat a lot of sardines you have to start before you try any chicken or any any fish or any meat of any kind, sardines is the protein that is going to help you that your digestion uh, start working again. So I'm feeling a lot more normal. Uh, my hand, like I said, the, the the multiple sclerosis has subsided significantly, and um, I see like a path out of the. I'm not taking any medication anymore. I have a lot more mobility. I have a lot more strength. Um, so, so yeah, the, the fasting got rid of a lot of those symptoms of multiple sclerosis. However, I, it appears like I'm going to need another series of fastings that are going to require for me to not eat anything for at least 12 hours a day or, or more, maybe even longer, like have just one meal a day. And uh, plus two days out of the week, two days out of the week, I'm not going to eat anything but just drink water or water and bread, bread and water. Or have a, I mean, the doctor from Juarez is, the doctor from Mexico is going to break it to me later. And unfortunately, he didn't tell me the whole thing until I was already 30, 35 days into the fast when he tells it tells me how hard it is to come out of the fast, had I known that I would have not gone into this, but I'm glad I did um, because I was able to do it and I didn't die. Um, and it's just unbearable. The hunger is unbearable, but but um, the multiple sclerosis is even worse. So I'd rather be hungry, you know. I just I'd rather be hungry. Um, if you if you do have, I mean, it would be best that you be under the care of a of a of a doctor that knows about fasting, because like I like like uh, the way it is. I mean, many many years ago, doctors knew that fasting cured disease, so it was not in their best interest to teach patients to fast. It is doctors' best interest to to enslave them in medication and enslave them into their care for financial reasons. Um, fasting, there's not a lot of money. A, doctor, a doctor's not going to make a lot of money teaching people to fast. <laughs> so it's it, that's why one of the, one of the a big reason there's so many death certificates that say died of malnutrition, died, died of starvation, they had no idea what the, these doctors didn't know back in the 1800s why the people died. They died 
What did they all die of? Okay, well, they go, yeah, they died of malnutrition. They died of, uh, they died of starvation because it was convenient to say that. And that, would, that, that is going to dissuade people from fasting. Fasting is a method of curing disease. But again, you need to be under the care of somebody that knows what they're doing, that knows how to put you into the fast and knows how to get you out. So the doctor that I have from Mexico, he's an 80-year-old man, physically fit, stronger than me. And I'm 49 years old. This guy's 80. He can run. He can lift 200 pounds. I can't lift. I can lift, what, 35 so I definitely recommend, I mean, he does it every year. I plan to do the same. I recommend it. Anyway, so that's, I don't want to make this uh, video much longer. I hope it benefits some people. And I don't know if you can comment on my videos or if you can um, share, subscribe, or how you can contact me. But um, if you can, maybe we could talk, okay? Uh, wishing everyone the very best. Bye.